All right. 120 volt road and coil. Just like this. All right. If I put an aluminum thing inside there, it should do something. Let's try putting some iron in there and then setting something on there. All right. So We put a shim down there to get it above. It shoots off. Alright, if I do not have a piece of steel in there, just have the ring. Nothing happens. Um, Alright, well I can't even do my experiment because what I was going to do just take this mock-up aluminum piston thing that I temporarily mocked up to act as a device just as I just shown. But obviously nothing's going to happen. Um, if I place this back in here, now I've got an iron center, and I put this loosely on there, let's see what happens. It works. So it looks like it only works if there's iron in the middle. My question is, if I put this ring inside of here and then put this piston canister on the outside of it and I hold this down will that ring move? Okay, we just shown that it'll move. I'll do it again. Alright, so will it move like this? This is the question. Looks like the answer is yes. Yes, it will. So, even through the cylinder wall, it worked. Now, um, that's interesting. That proves a theory that I wanted to prove. And, yeah, all right, now we know. But the problem here is that if we do not have this iron center, then it will not work. All right, let's try one more experiment. I got an idea. All right, guys, I have here an aluminum cylinder. And I didn't take this apart, but I'm assuming that the piston is aluminum. I'll take it apart after I'm done and find out. 
I'm assuming that the aluminum is piston, or the piston is aluminum, and since the rod here is uh, steel, we should get a magnetic induction. That answers my question. Um, nothing. No movement. All right. Good experiments. I'm Russ, your host. Safety first.